Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and in this video, we're gonna talk about the two main contenders of the design industry. It's 2019 and we are having two very strong contender in the world of design, Adobe XD and Sketch. On the one hand, when Sketch is being dominated quite a lot by the big guns of the design world, most of the big names in the design world are still on the Sketch. But on the other hand, we are getting a very amazing rise from the Adobe XD, which is having so many amazing features. It's not very far behind. So when you are as a beginner, you might be thinking which one to choose and which one to pick up. In 2019, you might, can, you might want to pick up one over the other, but there are definitely pros and cons of both. So which one you should be picking up in 2019? Let's talk about it in this video. First and foremost, it is very essential to know that which is I am using. For the last two or three years, I have been using Sketch, but this year I didn't renew my license for Sketch. I am now totally on Adobe XD. This means that I have a little bit hands-on experience on both Sketch and Adobe XD, and I have seen a growth and evolution of both the products. So what is the reason why I have personally switched on Adobe XD? My reason has nothing to do with the popularity or the feature that one is offering and other is not. It's not like that. Now, I am a YouTuber and of course I make online apps, uh, websites and all those stuff as well. Now, I'm not also a pro designer, but still I have to teach a lot of stuff. And I have to pick up a software which is either a cross-platform or multiple people are using it. My choice is always to pick up a software which is a cross-platform so that I can target wider audience and can provide better support to them. Now, this led me to ultimately choose the Adobe XD. Now, previously, the market was completely empty. Sketch, get onto that and just completely nailed it down. But Adobe XD saw that neither Photoshop is picking up that market, neither, Adobe, neither the Illustrator. So we definitely need to launch a new software and they came up with Adobe XD. Since Adobe XD is cross-platform, that's the only reason I have to use it. And now let's talk more about the feature stuff in both the stuff. Now feature-wise, both software are now competitive and they are almost like going up here and there with uh, Adobe XD and Sketch. Now still, I would say since I've used both the software, I would say some of the pros with the Sketch first and foremost. Now one of the big thing that I still feel is the way how Sketch handles the shadow. Now Adobe XD is also working out on it, but they are still not onto the complete mark where they, I can say that now they are, are totally equal. Sketch still handles the shadow much more better, uh, especially the inner shadows and stuff. And also one more thing, the vector tool in the sketch is something which I think that it is perfectly designed as compared to the sketch. Now again, these are personal opinions. Some people may like the vector tools of the XD, but I happen to like the sleekness and the options that the vector tool that gives, uh, that are being provided to us in the sketch. Now, apart from that, there are remarkable things that XD has published in the recent couple of months. One of the very big strength of Sketch was the ability to use the third-party plugins. Now, many times softwares are not that much powerful. Just take any editor. These editors by default are not that much powerful. We obviously have to integrate some of the third-party or custom design plugins so that we can just enhance their superpowers. Now, this was totally lagging in Adobe XD, but recently they just opened the door that now we are accepting third-party plugins from other developers. And this is just like final nail in the coffin and they are working so amazingly well in fact I have a list of my favorite plugins that I'll share with all of you very soon but I think now this is making a comeback a big huge comeback and this is like a big blow in the face of sketch that now they are accepting the third-party plugins as well now one thing that I like and absolutely love is there is no advocating going on with sketch or XD now, the greatest thing about these two software is how closely they are related. The interface is like almost like similar. And once you learn one software, it is so much easier to move into another software. Yes, definitely. There are subtle differences, a subtle change of keyboard shortcuts, but they are not huge over the like one week or two week. You can be pretty much adjusted on any particular software. So it's pretty much easy to switch from one to another. Now, if you would like to know that what are my favorite third-party plugins for Adobe XD, just let me know in the comment section and I'll create a separate video of 
how these third-party softwares and plugins are making my life much more easier in XD and it's just a matter of click of button and I'm able to do so much of the things. Okay, so now that you know a little bit brief idea about how these things are shaping up and by the way, in case you are worried about prototyping, both software now offers prototyping and you can just run and test your apps and website how they are going to look in the actual world. Both softwares now often offer them and you don't have to worry anything about it. Now let's come on to the main point, which software you should be worried about and which software you should be looking up for. Now in case you are on a Mac, I would still recommend all of the Mac users to at least give it a try to sketch because I know uh, XD is cross-platform, you can work with Adobe suite of softwares, but still I would say don't consider this sketch thing as like it's gone. It's not, they are continuously pushing up updates and there are still few amazing things that only sketch offers and the workflow is just amazing in the sketch. So if you are on a Mac, I would still recommend you to just go ahead, give it a try. You don't need to buy from me or my coupons or anything. Just go ahead and download the softwares, give it a try, and in case you love it. Now, on the other hand, for most of the people who are watching this video might be on Windows or Mac, Adobe XD now offers XD as totally free, which is really, really a blowing competitive move compared to Sketch. So it is cross-platform and definitely give it a try. Now, surely it is a learning curve a little bit with Adobe XD, but once you cross that curve, it's like a smooth breeze into that. And one good thing, which still I'm a big fan is, you can open up all of your Illustrator files and all of these into Sketch, uh, into Adobe XD, and you can just work out with that. So my recommendation to most of the beginners is go ahead, give it a try with Adobe XD. Now with that, I would also like to give you a bonus tip. Now I know most of the people who are watching this channel are programmers or want to become a programmer. Now, as I mentioned in the past as well, design is a very essential thing that every programmer should know and should understand. I took the design classes very, very late. I'm still learning the design, how to make them, how to pick up the perfect font, perfect color scheme, perfect tone, how I can make all of that. I'm still on the learning phase, but I would recommend you go ahead and start learning, like explore the design part once a weekly or once in a month or twice in a month. It is very essential that your app and your website should look dope and that can only be possible with understanding of designs, colors, font and UI UX experience as well. I don't have a ton of knowledge about it. I'm still learning all these things, but whatever I have, I would love to share that. So let me know first and foremost in the comment section that would you like to know my sweet, amazing tools and plugins that I use with Adobe XD. Let me know in the comment section. I'll surely make a video with that. So welcome to 2019, amazing design world. And let's see what these softwares will offer, offer us in the whole 2019. That's it for this video. In case you are new here, consider subscribing this channel. We post a ton of content on this channel about programming, design, and a whole lot of other things. Definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.